Hello there folks, it's Nerdy John here, and today we'll be talking about the Venom trailer that just released, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, which I'm really excited for this movie, because despite liking the first one, it was rather generic, and I felt that there could have been stuff done a lot better. For example, Eddie and Venom's dynamic, because there wasn't really a lot of believability to Venom's turn to wanting to protect the Earth instead of just wanting to escape it or conquer it. But with this one, Venom seems quite happy. Uh, in they actually, there's a, uh, in the trailer trailer they show a scene where Venom and Eddie are walking into the retail store like in the first one and Mrs. Chen the owner says hi to Eddie and then she says hi to Venom and Venom says hello back so Venom might actually be less of an edgelord this time around that's gonna be interesting and another thing that I felt was really weak about the previous film was the fact that the villain was really lackluster. The Riot symbiote itself wasn't interesting at all. It was pretty much just a palette swap version of Venom with some minor differences here and there. And I can't even remember the human villain's name at all. But with Carnage... It's going to be really interesting because with Carnage, he's the twisted version of the symbiote times 11. Like, it was so bad that in the comics, it forced Spider-Man and Venom to team up. That's how bad it was. Like, because like when they teamed up, Venom was still a villain. And so for Venom to have to team up with Spider-Man, like it had to be pretty significant. So, yeah, I'm really excited for this movie. Another thing in the trailer was we see a group of businessmen uh, watching... I, if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but the human host for Carnage, his name's Clayton. I want to say Clayton. I'm probably way off on that because it's been a while since I read anything Carnage related. But I want to say it's Clayton. Um, the human sim, the human host for um, Carnage. He's uh, trapped in this chamber, and it it looks like that's how he gets the um, the symbiote. And what I think is going on is it's the previous company because even though like I think he was like the head guy involved in that company, even though he's dead, it's still a company. And more than likely, the board members were somewhat aware of what he was doing with the symbiotes. And so they're probably wanting to continue the research more. So they probably picked him because oh we you know no one's gonna care about this psychopathic killer little did you know they caused a bit of a mess and um i have to say i think they did a lot better uh with the cgi this time around it's still hidden in the dark so that way you know you, you um it hides some of the rougher details of it but I can actually somewhat tell the difference between Carnage and uh, Venom this time around. So, hey, A plus on that one. Overall, this looks like it's go just going to be a way better film. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to see it in theaters or not, or if I'm going to have to catch it on HBO Max if it's going to air there. But I'm really excited for this movie. Anyway, this is Nerdy John signing out.